One of my favourite authors for young readers is Pamela Butchart, and she's written lots of very funny books. This is one of her earlier ones called Baby Aliens Got My Teacher. I'll just read from the back for you. Izzy and her friends are really surprised when Miss Jones starts being nice to them. After all, this is the teacher who secretly smiled when Maisie Miller fell off her chair that time. And then a teddy bear appears on her desk with You're Great written on its tummy. Miss Jones isn't a teddy bear kind of person. She's more of a hates puppies and thinks kittens are ugly kind of a person. And that's when they know Miss Jones has been taken over by aliens. And now she's trying to turn them all into aliens too. I'll read a little bit from inside. This is one of the chapters further on. And it's called Glow in the Dark Milkshake. So we waited for Maisie to wake up. Then we went through to the living room to use Jodie's mum's computer to do research about aliens. We found lots of information and pictures of aliens, but some of the pictures were a bit scary and Maisie was starting to get a bit wobbly again. So Jodie's mum said that it was time to stop using the internet and that it was time for cakes instead. So we had cakes and the really good strawberry milkshake that only Jodie's mum can make. Maisie had never had Jodie's mum's milkshake before. At first she was really scared of it because it's really pink, like glow-in-the-dark pink. But when she tried it, she liked it and had five glasses. Since we couldn't use the computer to research, Zach said, maybe we could interview people like they do on TV. Jodie said that was a brilliant idea, but I said that I was the one who was in charge of the research, so it was up to me what we did next. But luckily, I thought doing an interview was a brilliant idea too. So that's what we did. We interviewed Jodie's mum because she was the only one around to interview. We asked her what she could tell us about aliens. She told us to all sit down and listen. I had to get Maisie to help me do the notes because Jodie's mum talks a lot. But this is what we found out. Aliens. One, they are nice. Two, they are peaceful. Three, they come to Earth to make new friends. Four, they can read minds. Five, they are not green like everyone thinks. They are actually very pretty and sometimes glow. At the end of the interview, we asked Jodie's mum if she'd ever met an alien before and she said, not yet, but I'd love to. So we thanked her for the interview and went back into the bedroom. We all agreed that it looked like Miss Jones really was an alien because she was being really nice to us all of a sudden, number one, and not moaning at us like she usually did, number two. She was also going out for lunch now instead of staying in her room with her smelly cup of soup on her own. So maybe that was number three. And then Maisie got scared that Miss Jones was going to start doing number five. But then I said, forget number five. What about number four? If Miss Jones can read our minds, then she knows that we know that she's an alien. It's a very funny book. And Izzy and her friends um, set out to solve a mystery in each of Pamela Butchart's books. And they're all very silly and very funny.